Okay, we are live. Hi, welcome to Humane Ed Live. We're here with Miss Aggie. Uh, she's not currently up for adoption yet. We're hoping she'll be up soon. She's been having some tummy issues, so once that's all solved, mm -hmm. she'll go back up for adoption. Um, we're here to talk about working dogs today, and Aggie's a really good example. Oh, yeah. Uh, so Aggie could maybe be a mix of a couple different breeds. She kind of has that like Belgian Malinois. She's de I would <laughs> say definitely part Malinois. Right. Look she at her. definitely is. She's <laughs> on the smaller end. Um, so a lot of our working dogs are going to be like the Belgian Malinois, the German Shepherds. Um, sometimes like your Golden Retrievers are going to be good working dogs. Um, you really want high energy smaller dogs. Um, so. Miss Aggie here, um, definitely, you can tell as you watch her, she definitely could benefit from a job. So, working dogs that don't have jobs are going to do things like this. They're going to pace, they might be destructive. Uh, Miss Aggie likes to throw her water bowl around because she's bored. Mm -hmm. um, so they're gonna kinda get into some mischief because they're really, really smart and they have really busy minds. And when they get bored, they need something that's gonna keep them occupied. So, um, Aggie's been doing some scent work with our trainer, where basically mm -hmm. she has to sniff out where the treats are in her bowl. Um, that helps keep her busy mind occupied a little bit. But when Aggie gets adopted, she would honestly do best in a home where she has like a real job. Um, working dogs, they like jobs such as like, some like to work on farms, um, some work with police officers, some do service dog work. But even dogs like Aggie, who would just be a companion animal, they can do stuff for you like fetching the mail or um, trying to think of other things. Just playing with their lap. Right, too, just doing, needed. yeah, just doing like puzzle toys, um, maybe playing hide and seek with you around the house. They just want to do some sort of job. Um, so she, she does calm down. <laughs> yeah, she does calm down eventually. She actually was falling asleep earlier. She just really needs to keep herself busy. So once she's maybe played with that water bowl for a little while, she'll take a nice nap. Uh, we have other dogs in here that would probably benefit from a job as well. So we have Flyer, who's a German Shepherd, and Charlie, who's a German Shepherd as well. Uh, probably mixes as well. Um, but they definitely could benefit from jobs as well too. Uh, they're super smart. They pick up on things really fast. I think Charlie knows like high five, oh, yeah. roll over and shake and all of these different things. Uh, Flyer knows a lot of tricks too. Maybe not as many as Charlie, mm -hmm. but he's got good tricks of his sleeve too. Um, and they're definitely dogs that if you gave them some sort of job or taught them things like agility or frisbee, mm -hmm. fly ball, things like that, uh, that's going to help keep them occupied. Um, they're just dogs that are too smart for their own good, so you've got to keep up with them and really give them all the exercise they need. Now so, she's boring. I know. Not, not Why boring. Are you boring, Aggie? But she's she not. She must have gone on a long walk or something. She did. Today. Before the rain, I believe. Oh, <laughs> uh, or tired herself walking in circles. But. But the thing to know about if you're going to adapt a working breed is that you really need to be an active person. So if you're a couch potato, <laughs> if you really don't like doing things like myself, Me. you don't want to get a dog like Aggie, as beautiful as she might be. Um, she's going to drive you crazy and you're going to drive her crazy if you just sit around and do nothing. Mm -hmm. um, she's really going to want people who go for long hikes go for long walks, maybe who travel and bring her with, um, oh, yes. play frisbee, swim, all of those things. She wants somebody who's going to do all of that with her. Um, like I said, somebody who's just going to binge watch TV all day is not going to be good for her or Flyer or Charlie. They're all going to need somebody who's really active and just loves being outside. Um, which there are a lot of people like you out there. Mm -hmm. So if that describes any of you, um, you should come in and meet Charlie and Flyer. And when Miss Aggie goes up, you should also come meet Aggie, as these three dogs would be really good companions for any type of outdoor activities you want to do. She may not look at, at this exact thing. I know, but she, she, will. she acts like she's so calm right now. Aggie! No, uh, some of our volunteers in the comments are saying she's the best, beautiful dog. What a yeah. sweetheart, right? Aggie's really well liked around here because she's very um, kind of she's more on the submissive side. She stares me off. I know she is. She's falling asleep. <laughs> um, she's very sweet and loves to give kisses. She's just a little bit shy, um, which is kind of rare for working dogs. Usually they're kind of more outgoing or more like dominant. 
but she's definitely on the submissive side um, and just needs somebody to give her a little bit of time to warm up. Um, but as the volunteers are saying, she's really sweet and really well loved. So when she goes up for adoption, uh, hopefully somebody will come in and get her soon because she will she's be ready up. to go home. You're back up. Just yeah, hi. good girl. She got her little cat nap in. I know, right? Now she's ready for action. All right, well, that is all for me and Aggie today about working dogs. Um, so again, if you are a super active individual, you should definitely come in and meet Flyer and Charlie. And then when Miss Aggie goes up, which we hope will be soon, you should come meet our girl as well. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, okay. now she's doing her circles. Okay. All right, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in two weeks.